Good morning and good evening everyone. I I hope you are doing well. Uh, before we get started, uh, let me introduce myself. Uh, my name is Shiv. I am Microsoft Web Specialist, and I have worked in SAP on Online, SAP on Onthmice, SPFX, React JS, Azure, Rust API, Graph API, and many more. Apart from my technical expertise, I do uh, I do like uh, writing blogs and share my knowledge to others. So today uh, today. Uh, first of all, uh, thanks for joining this session. And today we will explore how can we expose large data set. Uh, that means if you have a SharePoint list or maybe uh, Dataverse, and you want to export uh, whole data in uh, Excel using Power on Rate. So this is the use case where uh, we are exploring today. So uh, this is overview. Uh, where in this demo uh, we will uh, we will uh, go through the overview and then feature and and then export uh, export generation will be there, and then uh, it will save in OneDrive, and it will also export attachment in the mail. So uh, basically, uh, this is a Power Automate solution that helps you to export large data set uh, from SharePoint list into Excel, especially when you are working with the bulk data. Let's say um, in my case, uh, when I was working with one of the client, uh, where uh, if we have a uh, List has hold issue like if data is more than five thousand. So out of the box solution will not work that. So for that uh, I just uh, have this solution in my mind uh, where uh, we we just uh, we will just build up our automate where we can export a large SharePoint list and we can use pagination in the Power Automate settings uh, where we can get uh, more than five thousand items. I will show you that. And uh, we can retrieve up to one lakh items uh, from that pagination settings, uh, and we can after it we will generate a dynamic Excel file creation, and then uh, we will save into OneDrive, and uh, we will also uh, create tables in Excel from that flow only, and we will then mapping the data, and then we will use select function for map, uh, mapping the headers as uh, from the uh, rows of the uh, list. And here, the main thing uh, we uh, I am just using Graph API uh, because if we are using a traditional way for looping the data, that will create a lot of time and uh, and performance will be impacted. So, using Graph API, uh, we can uh, we can uh, uh, increase the performance as well. And lastly, uh, uh, once this uh, file is created, we can uh, attach an attachment and send uh, as per requirement. So. Uh, let's start it. So this particular uh, Power Automate consists, uh, first of all, uh, we are using uh, create file connector. Uh, that's create file in, uh, one, in your OneDrive. Then we are creating uh, that table in the Excel, then uh, with, uh, with the headers in this same action. And then we are getting the items from the SharePoint list. And then we are using, share, uh, then we are using select function, uh, which is mapping the data. Uh, from the SharePoint list, and then we are using uh, send HTTP request for Grab API. Uh, <clears throat> I will show you that. Then after uh, we are using delay function uh, for let's say if uh, there is a like large data, so it may take few five to ten seconds. So yeah, so we are using delay uh, function for that ten second, or maybe it depends on your requirement. And then we are getting the file content, and then we are creating the share link, and then creating files, and then mail the content. So let me uh, quickly show you the flow. So here is the flow uh, where I am triggering this flow on a on a I, uh, on a manual trigger. So you can trigger it on your scheduler base, like if you want to uh, trigger this flow on monthly basis or weekly basis, so depend on your requirement. After that, uh, let me show you the uh, database first so that you can understand well. So there is a uh, list which is contain uh, procs uh, 20,000, because for my case, I have only 20,000 uh, items in my list. Let me show you that also. Uh, so, so we have nine, uh, 19,970 items in this list, and we have uh, this data like name and then description, and then the remaining balance and existing balance, and the current balance, and the previous balance, and electronic type, and the percentage. So these are our database, which is more than 
19,000 and yes, we can do up to 1 lakh. So it is a uh, very simple but very useful uh, auto, uh, power automate. So let me show you that first. So in the create file, uh, it will uh, it will create a file in your uh, OneDrive uh, where we need to give the file name and the folder path. And it will create the file on that particular uh, folder location. And after that, let me show you that in the edit mode so that you can understand well. So it's like very uh, pretty simple uh, folder path where you want to save your file and that file name. Here in my case, I am uh, making a dynamic name by transition data underscore current date time. <clears throat> After that, creating table uh, where uh, we have to give the location uh, of that OneDrive and then library name. So this is my OneDrive or I can use SharePoint library as well. And then ID, ID is same which we are getting this file ID. After that, uh, we have to give the range. Like in Excel, we have some range like A1 to G1, depending on our columns. If we have columns are um, more than that, so it's, it may be uh, G, H, I, J, K, L, and so on. And after that, we have to give the table name. Uh, that I will show you what is the table name and where. Uh, so usually, whenever you uh, see any Excel, so it's have a table name as well. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> And then after what uh, what are the headers we want to give in our Excel so that we need to map here in the headers in the column name section. And after that, uh, we are using get items that is uh, to retrieve all items from your SharePoint list in one go. Uh, so this is a get item uh, connect uh, action for that uh, to handle large data set. Uh, we are using exp expanding paginations what I am talking about. So here it is. So in threshold, I have increased up to one lakh. So this is a threshold. So usually, if you not if you do not uh, increase the threshold, so you will get up to uh, five thousand records only. So we can increase up to one lakh. After that, uh, I am using select function. Sorry. So this is the uh, I am getting values from this uh, get items, and I have been mapping that headers to the columns of the list. Like I am using this. Uh, name, description, and this remaining balance, existing and current values, and the previous one, and electronics type, and percentage. So it's all these, which column we want to export in our Excel, we need to map them as per the header and as per the order. And after that, uh, most important and uh, most useful, I'm using send HTTP request, where I'm using, where I just used Graph API, uh, like you all know that uh, graph.microsoft.com, then v1, and then me, and then drive. So this is for your OneDrive, and then items, that means you are getting all the items, and then you are splitting the uh, that file, create table, uh, then you are getting the workbook, that's for your Excel, and we have to mention the table name that we have mentioned here, and then all those. So this is the table name which we created earlier here. So you have to put the same table name and you have to map it here. And we are using post method because we are creating the file of using Graph API in your OneDrive. In bodies, uh, whatever we are getting in the select uh, function and we are just uh, mapped it in the values of the output of that uh, previous section. And then content type, you have to mention application uh, slashation. And then what I told you, uh, for just safer side, uh, we can put a delay up to 10 to 15 seconds because if your data is like 50K or 80K or up to one like so, it may take 10 to 15 seconds. So you can put a, a delay depending on your requirement and for a safer side. So that it will not uh, go for next step till it will uh, map all the data. And after that, uh, most important, get file content uh, where you have to put the ID of your OneDrive uh, Excel item, and then you are creating the CL link where you have to put the same ID. And here it is, you have two types of link types, like view or edit. So this is again up to your requirement. If you want to give the permission only view, read only, then you should select view. And if your requirement where uh, your 
you can say share person is he can add it or download so you can select the edit as well <clears throat> after that you have to create file for that uh, you have to uh, give the site URL and the folder path and then file name and the body so this is a body of that your Excel file uh, which you have created earlier and lastly you are sending mail so whom you want to send mail you have to give the email subject body chain body uh, I just give the URL which I have saved in the separate library and when you clicked it it will download or it, it can open so totally depend on your requirement <coughs> Let me quickly trigger it so that we can see the output as well. I'm triggering manually and you can trigger on a button click or maybe <coughs> or maybe on a, a schedule base. Sorry. It's taking a lot of time while signing in because uh, yeah, it's sign in and we have to run click on run flow and the flow is successfully run. So till uh, it is running, let me show you the OneDrive uh, where I just given the path named as data export. And here you can see a few seconds ago, this file has been created with the same Excel uh, name which we have given underscore that date, current date. And it's not, uh, it's map function is not rigor, is not run yet so is getting the data once it will get the data from this list it will it will create the mapping as well let's wait a few more seconds it will ex generate excel like this and then it's on delay function and after it, it will execute get file content and you will get the mail where you will attach the speaker detail files and you can open it you have got it you have got all the data with name description remaining and previous and here you get the mail that means flow is successfully triggered so let me show you the uh, newest file so let's refresh the page i think yeah, here is the file. So let me show you all 19,000 data. So it is pretty simple, but very useful because in out of work solution, you cannot export Excel more than uh, 5,000. You will get threshold error. So it's a very bulk data in single few seconds using Graph API, so thanks for Graph API. That will not loop on each and every item and it will export the data. So it is uh, pretty useful and pretty simple. So uh, that's it uh, from my side. <laughs>